Hey guys, if you are a Twitch or a YouTube broadcaster and you've been trying to add a time clock widget to your stream, then I'm going to show you in this extremely easy tutorial how to add this right up here to show whatever time zone time you want to show. So make sure you watch the video to the entirety. It really, really helps the algorithm and lets other people see this really simple tutorial. So let's go ahead and get on with the video. Real quick before we begin, if you are brand new to the channel, then you don't even know that I am a Twitch and YouTube broadcaster dedicated to bringing you the best possible stream tips, tricks, and tutorials. And if you want to see me stream on Twitch, I stream a lot of retro games Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, 8 p.m. EST. You can also come in there, enjoy the games, or you can even come in there, ask me some stream tips and just questions that you have in general. So... What you're going to want to do first in this tutorial is go to streamelements.com and you're going to want to connect it with your Twitch account or your YouTube. Either one works. So once you do that, it's going to log in and you're going to go to the dashboard. Now, after that, what you're going to want to have to do is you're going to want to come over and join the Stream Elements Discord. Now, I'm going to leave a description or I'm going to leave a link in the description to both the Discord but also to just where you can click on the link and it'll add the overlay to your stream elements just in case you don't use Discord. I know some people don't. I know a lot of people do though. But either way, what you're going to want to do after you join the stream elements Discord is you're going to want to come over here to the widget share and you're just going to want to scroll up because this is kind of an older one. It was made on 8-19-2020 by Mr. Jaroslavik. Thank you so much for making this, by the way. And you're going to, want to click this HTTPS streams.net. So once you do that, it's going to make it and it's going to add it to your stream elements right here. So you're just going to come over to the overlays and it's going to have this clock widget by Mr. Jaroslavik. So after that, you're going to click edit and this is going to be quite smaller. Honestly, it's going to be probably probably like that. I actually had to adjust the font size of it, of mine personally, because I didn't feel like it was big enough. So it's going to show the font size of 30, which when I change it to 30, you're going to see how small it is. So just kind of make that like 70 or even 80. Depends on what you want. You're going to want to set your time zone. I am EST, so I kind of set it to what mine personally was. You can set the format as 12 or 24 hours. And you can also set up a font. If you want a different font so i have roboto you can do risque kind of like the roboto that looks more like i dream a genie so after you do that you're just going to come over here press save also you can just change the font color and font shadow if you want to you know customize it further so you just want to come over here hit save copy the overlay url and then after that you're going to come over to the obs and once you do that you're going to want to add it. Just add it as a browser. Just going to put clock. So after that, you just click this into the over or the URL. Add it there. I'm going to change mine to about 500 by 500. And it will display the clock time. And then if you want to just kind of make sure that the window isn't too, too big, you can just hold alt and kind of crop it so that it doesn't interrupt all of your other overlays. You can move that bigger, but the problem when you move it bigger like this is it makes it a little bit blurry. So I just kind of keep it how it is. If you want it to be very big on the screen, you can adjust the actual widget size. But honestly, this is probably perfect for most people. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if it did help you. And if you are brand new to the channel and you want to see more tutorials like this and also some stream tips here and there, then hit that subscribe button, the notification ding ding, so you don't miss any more like this. And I will catch you in the next video, which just so happens to be a social media rotator, which is really, really cool. It'll actually drive traffic from your Twitch or YouTube stream to your Instagram, your YouTube, your Facebook, your Twitter, all of those, even your Discord, if you add that to it. So thank you guys again. I will catch you in the next video and peace.